Okay, and finally the last skill for tonight, where we get given, it's called data handling, but we get given a certain amount of data, and we asked to calculate the classic mode, range, median, and mean. The first thing I always do with the data, so if you get a list of data, is just to order it from smallest to biggest. So I'm actually going to rewrite it, and I'm going to start with the smallest value, which in this case is 7, and then I'm just going to, as I go along, I cross them out, so 7, then I've got three eights, so 8, 8, and 8. I'll cross those out just to make sure that I've accounted for them. I've got two nines, 9 and 9, cross those out. And then finally, I've got a 10. So I've ordered my data first things first. So the first question is, what is the mode? So the mode is just the, the data, or the number that occurs the most in the data. And in this case, you can see it's fairly straightforward that you've got three eights. So the mode must be eight. Um, so we'll just write that in. Mode, in this case, is... Eight. And just remember, you sometimes can have more than one mode, but here it's clear that 8 occurs three times, whereas 9 occurs twice, but it's obviously not as often. Next question is the range. Range is just the, the biggest value in the data minus the smallest one. So the biggest one in this case is 10, the smallest one is 7, therefore the range is going to be 3. The next one, the median, and now because we've sorted the data, what I did up first, it makes it a lot easier for us to calculate or work out the, the, the median. Um, the median is just the middle data item, and because this is an odd data item, we're actually going to find the, the median exists, it's, it's its own number, so it's really straightforward to see that the median is going to be the 8, because you can see there are three numbers on either side of it. So 8 is directly in the middle. So the, the median in this case is very straightforward. going to be 8. And then the last one, which is a little bit more uh, time consuming, is to go and work out the, the, the mean. The mean, you just have to get the sum of all the items and all the numbers in the, in the data set. So we're just going to have to manually count this. So 7 plus 8, which is 15. 15 plus 8 is 23. 23 plus 8 is 31. 31 plus 9 is 40. 40 plus 9 is 49. 49 plus 10 is 59, so we know that it's 59, and that is worked out over the total number of the the total num number of data in the data set. So you can see that we have seven numbers in the data set, so that's why it's going to be over seven. And I don't think this one's going to be particularly nice to calculate, so we'll just do a little bit of short division, but we don't have to worry if it's Usually they will give you a, a mean that's quite nice and clean. This one I just made up, so it might not work that nicely. So 59 and into 7. 7 doesn't go into 1. I mean 7 doesn't go into 5, sorry. It's getting quite late. I'm not thinking clearly. 7 goes into 59. 7 times 8 is 56. So it's going to go 8 times. Um, 56, remainder 3. Um... We obviously have to put the comma there, and 7 goes into 30, uh, 7 is going to go into 34 times, remainder 2, um, 7 is going to go into 22 times, remainder um, 2 times, remainder 6, um, 7 goes into 68 times, And then, and it's going to go on and on. So I think to approximate, we can say that the mean is approximately uh, eight comma four three if I'm doing it to two decimal places. But as I said, in the actual test, you won't be given such a messy number like that. You'll usually get something that is quite easily divisible without it, it carrying on like that forever. So <coughs> that's your basic data handling skills, and good luck for the test tomorrow.